Hey friends, guess who's back? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Eh, he said it better. Thanks, John. Okay, like the man said, I'm back. And wow, it feels good to say that again. It's been a wild couple of years and I've got a boatload of stories and projects that I'm stoked to catch you up on. So grab a comfy seat and let's get to it. Where have I been? Well, for the last couple of years, I've been chasing the dream of setting up the perfect spot to create and share with you all. I have moved around more times than I had planned. I moved out, I moved in, I moved out again, I moved in again, and now I'm back in my own home. So naturally, as I moved in, I decided to make it way harder than I needed to. I decided to renovate. I renovated upstairs, I painted the walls, I sanded the floors, I put some new doors on. I put a new built-in wardrobe into the bedroom. Then later, my partner moved in with me and I decided to make that far harder than it needed to be by renovating downstairs as well. I turned my old workshop, if you remember that, into two beds, a bath and a hallway. And I made a nice little rumpus room out of an unused space. Effectively, in last year, I've turned the whole house upside down, giving it a brand new heartbeat. Also, with the help of my amazingly supportive, some would say enabling, partner, I've been building my dream workshop and a cozy little studio space that's now my maker sanctuary. Anyway, enough about me. Let's talk about the projects and you can see I've got some in front of me. I've got a bunch of projects to talk to you about and if you're following me on social media, this won't be a surprise. First off the show and tell wagon is this mesmerizing kinetic art piece. A few months ago, I became obsessed with kinetic art sculptures and this one you're seeing here was my first effort. There are two versions and the one you're seeing here is my motorized version. However, I do have a hand powered one that you can buy online on my website that really only requires a 3D printer and a handful of screws to build. It's got comprehensive visual instructions and it's one of those cool toys that if you leave it on a table, absolutely everyone that comes across it will play with it. You literally can't stop watching it. I've brought this project to life with the help of my 3D printer and a handful of two color filaments adding in a few screws out of my miscellaneous nuts and bolts drawer to bring it to life. This motorized version is like a visual lullaby and I could watch it all day. I'm excited to show you how this fun kit came together and how you can make your own. Now, if you wanna jump ahead, I'm going to put the link to the files in the video description so you can go ahead and make your own. It's got everything you need to get started on my website. Next, do you remember my inverse kinematic paint mixer? You don't? Well, it's probably linked somewhere over my head right now, so go check it out. It was a project I did that uses inverse kinematics to mix paints. You put your paint, powder, or anything you need inside this cavity here, hit the button, and then you come back to it thoroughly mixed. Now, why would you use this mixer over vibration or another kind of mixer? And that's simple. A mixer like this works far better for materials with multiple densities. For example, anything that has a pigment that settles or if you need to mix powders of different mass uniformly. Like if you're making a rocket engine. Seriously, I sell these kits on eBay and most of my sales seem to have been to people making rockets. Who knew? This one is my latest iteration of my mixer kit, version five. The mixer has gone through several revisions over the last couple of years and a bunch of features, tweaks and improvements have been added. It's made from new materials with a new motor, lots of tweaks and even a fancy new red and black color scheme. You will see what I mean when I break it down for you. And next up is my favorite recent project, AI designed acoustic panels. Have you ever thought about how sound bounces around your room? Me neither, but I did think about making something 3D printed to go behind me in the studio here. And then that particular rabbit hole led me to design my own acoustic diffuser panels. Actually, I didn't design it, I didn't invent it. These as a concept have been around since the 90s. I saw someone else on TikTok that had made their own version of this, but when I went to try and find STLs for it, I could not find anything. So I decided to make my own, but I also decided to involve my good friend ChatGPT to help me with a little AI brain power. Hey ChatGPT, we're friends, right? Anyway, ChatGPT helped me to produce some code, which I can then use to generate my own QRDs. That's what this is, a quadratic residue diffuser in the form of an STL and then print them out. I can specify all of the necessary parameters and I end up with these cool panels. Moving on, the last item coming up is that I bought myself a Bamboo P1S 3D printer. I've been putting the Bamboo P1S through its paces and I know you will have seen a bunch of reviews for these. A lot of reviews are from the angle of someone whose hobby is tweaking and fixing 3D printers, but that doesn't help me. 
I want my printers to make stuff. I want to minimize the amount of time I have to spend tweaking profiles, fixing parts, and troubleshooting them. So I want to do a review from the perspective of a user utilizing these devices to support their business. Let's figure out if it's worth the hype for your projects or business. And we might make a bit of a comparison to other brands who have a similar approach of a controlled ecosystem. No prizes for guessing which company that is. Okay, that brings us to a close. Whew, that's a lot. And now I have this fantastic makerspace. There's heaps more to come and I'm just warming up. I can't wait to roll out all the content I have lined up. It's good to be back and I'm pumped to get into the nitty gritty of it with all of you. Hey, if you're still here, thank you for watching. Don't be a stranger, ring the bell, drop a like and let's make this a wild ride. And hey, I'm all ears for what you're itching to see next. So please leave me your thoughts down below and let's get this party started. Again.